Last time on Secrets of Monster Island, our monster hunters had prepared for the final battle against the Monster King, who turned out to be this gigantic Tarask, uh, larger than normal Tarask, um, and the players, or the, the monster hunters, started freaking out and started running from it, drank their potions, light, and flew up away from it. Uh, everyone except for Arlub and Arlen, who were swallowed and are now in the stomach. The players have used all the legendary resistances of the creature and have the help of the goddess Leotai a little bit with the, as they have resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. Um, but it appears that the Taras can't really even hit them. So, right now it's more or less a stalemate. As Yuri, it is your turn. I start flying, uh, I will go 70 feet toward the Tarask, um, as I have a plan. And pass turn. Okay. The Tarask, are you flying down yet, or no? No, no, I'm just going across. Okay. The Tarask will go over here. Um... And it'll just dash again over here. As it is learned that everyone in this area is flying, so they are they should not be here. <laughs> As it is our our lips dead. Uh Yodale, your turn. Okay, so he's sixty feet tall, right? Yep. Okay. Now, the square of the isosceles is equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides. So, I think he's made himself in range of my one spell, the Fool. I'll, I'll say so. I need him to uh, make an intelligence save, please. Failure. Nice. All right. He takes 13 psychic damage, and the next time he has nice. to make a save, uh, I roll a 1d4 and subtract that from it. Nice. And then, um, wisdom save, come on! Clap it! Eight. Uh, Alaxdor, your turn. Cool. I am going to cast a spell. I need a charisma saving throw and it will have disadvantage on this throw due to my storm rune. Okay, and it gets a d4 minus as well. The charisma is going to be... Oh, gosh. Uh, so that's plus nine. Uh, but then minus four, so only 11. That is a fail. It is banished as Arlub and Arlen reappear on the ground. <laughs> and I am going to action surge. Okay. And I am going to move down closer to Arlub and Arlen. Um, mm -hmm. And I am going to healing word Arlen. I will say that it's 10 rounds and nothing's going to bother you, so you can put yourself wherever you want we as don't, much as you want. We don't, we don't want 10 rounds because we can only fly for 10 rounds. Oh, that's true. No, no, are, fly, no flying no, it's, it's an hour. hour. It's hour. Oh, I only, have, hour. I only have in a minute. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you want to spend like three rounds doing something? Yeah, essentially. Basically, I'm going to revive. Yeah. I'm going to cast Revivify on unless Yuri wants to do it. Uh, let me do it if he's okay. got the diamond on him. I'm sure yep. he does. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and how, how much is my healing? Uh, let me do the healing word. What do I have to roll to break this fear? Uh, well, your source he's is no gone. longer in sight, so you're no longer uh, you feared. Get seven to start with. Okay. Arlen. And Arlub on his turn will use his potion and fly up. Um meaning you guys could be all up in the air if you want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still got my potion. I mean, I'm still affected by my potion, so. Yep. Yep. So, the creature eventually comes back. No, wait, 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 wait. I got to hold on a second, because I'm sorry. But yeah. I'm, I'm seven healing, but I need some... Um, I'll hand you uh, the superior. Thank you. 
Why don't you go ahead and roll that for me since you got yep. that on here? On my character, so or sorry, the Supreme. Yeah. Um, here we go. Here's the roll. So many D4. One of them is stuck. Come on. Because <laughs> it all rolled down in the corner. <laughs> uh, 47. 47. Okay. Um, I'm also going to take one of my um, superior. Okay. For 31 more, and that's pretty good. Yep. So that's right. two rounds, and then I will, after the terrace, everybody hold an action. Yeah. To do so. something. And then we're yep. going to summon him back basically on round three after its turn. After its turn. Gotcha. Yes. Right. And we so will first have off your hold actions. Action. Mm-hmm. George. Uh huh. Go for it. You gotta hit a 23 to hit this guy? No, more. Under 26 uh, and above 22. I would yep. get big as well. Okay. During this time. All right. So your miss, your held action attack missed. Uh, Arlen, what were you doing? Uh, I'm just going to do a spear attack. Okay. 31. That'll hit. Nine points of piercing. I need a con save. Con save? Yeah. It's not. That's okay. okay. Oh, oh, oh. 14. <gasps> That's a fail. It is stunned. Until the end of my next turn. Unfortunately, that's coming up, but... Yeah. Jeff's kid. Wow. Um, but anyway, that's my turn. Wow. Yeah. It's a good way to start okay. this thing. Mm-hmm. Everyone else has held actions? Um, I'm going to hit it with a uh, Staff of Withering. I guess now it's at advantage. Mm-hmm. Not going to matter. 16 is the best I did. Uh, Yuri? Missed. Uh, our loop uh, do a deck save. It fails, so it's going to take some damage. Some radiant. Or a little bit of radiant. AKA 15 radiant. As our loop's turn, it's going to do the same exact thing. It fails. Uh,. For 21 Radiant. Nice. Uh, this Yodelite is your turn. Alright, I'm about to come undone here for uh, 8 attacks. Mm hmm. And they're all at advantage. Mm hmm. Oh, well, that first one is a 26 to hit. There we go. That'll hit. For only 9 damage. Let's do this. There we go. There's the advantage button. All right. Now I got my speed up. 29 to hit for 16 damage. Okay. Uh, yeah. 31 to hit. That'll hit. For 13 damage. All right. Come on now. There we go, 32 to hit for 15 damage. Second round, George the first, the second. Ah, did it again. All right, so the 29 to hit for... 20 damage. Get it. 12 damage. No, I, I, I didn't hit the advantage button the first time. Okay, there we go. 25 to hit. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just making sure. (laughs) I don't know. It was a dang Tarrasque. Look, I only did 9 damage on him. His scales are so hard. (laughs) He's looking fine. Yeah, Yeah, I'm sure. You're looking fine. Thank you. I appreciate the compliment. (laughs) 20. 
Eight to hit for 16 and finals. Oh, 19 to hit. Got this. All right, and I, that's all coming from my Echo, who is just within range of him, and I am okay. 90 feet up. All so right. that I am not within range, passing the turn. Alaxdor. Cool. I'm going to attempt to hit with the Staff of Withering. All right. That's 18 on the die, so 25 to hit. That'll hit. Jeez, I'm going to pump... Um, a charge into it. All of your things um, into it. Yep. Plus everything. Yep. Um, so here we go. Oh, that's that. So it is. Uh, D6 for that. 2D10. 1D8. And. Oh. Uh, plus 21, so that's going to be uh, 49 points of necrotic damage. Nice. From that one. Second attack. 18 again on the die. 25? Yep. That'll hit. Same, same roll. That'll be my last channel divinity. Won't be as good. Nope. Uh, it's 37 points of damage. Um, um, yeah. I will action surge. And I'm going to need two dexterity saving throws from him, which he'll automatically fail. Correct, yeah. Um, as I unleash two breath weapons on him. First breath weapon for 17 necrotic. Second one for 16. And that is every last little bit of things I can do. I'm going to back away. Uh, so, back so to 15 news. feet. It's a little bit lower than half health. Yeah, hey, it's bloodied. <laughs> we finally got it bloodied. Oh, jeez. Oh, I think that's the best single round of combat I have ever done. Uh, how far away did you fly? I am 15 feet up now, so I'm okay. outside of his reach. But because he was stunned, he does not have that attack. Correct. How much uh, damage did you do, Alexor? I did 49. I did 37. 30, so probably about 100. And then 33. Yeah, yeah so... A little bit more than 100. Se yeah. That's 70. Yeah, just over 100, like 112-ish damage. There we go. Great. Okay. Arlen, your turn. All right. Attacks with my spear. Advantage. 31 to hit. Yes. 14 points piercing. I need a con save. On save will be a 23. Saves? Uh... He has disadvantage on that. Ooh, 13. That still is stunned. a fail. It is still stunned. Spear attack again. Um, with advantage. 23. That will miss. Ah, so, yeah. So, so the AC is 24. <laughs> yep. I think. No, um, it's, it's 25. It's 25. Okay. There we go. 25. Um... So, okay, so uh, Floria blows. Nat 20. Nice. For 10 points of bludgeoning. All right. Oh, and uh, hold on a second. There's going to be some more. 27 to hit. 27 to hit for 7 points of bludgeoning. Yep. And I forgot my sneak attack on that first shot. It's five, five more points. Every little bit. Mm -hmm. Every little bit, right? Uh, Pass turn. Yuri is still stunned. Yuri, go for it. Yeah, I mean, I have advantage no matter what. So uh, <laughs> I, I did get a natural 20 because when you roll the d20 enough, yeah. um, you do get. Uh, so that is going to be uh, 32 points of damage. Nice. To, uh, to the Tarask. And I continue to be far up in the air and praying to the gods for uh, my brown people. 
The Tarask is stunned. D8, 3d8 from Sacred Flame for Arlu. Oh my gosh, that's really good. <laughs> 25 points of radiant damage to it. Wow! Get it. He gets that as, as wisdom modifier. Yeah. As Yodale, it's your turn. Okie dokie. Four, four more Georges. Here we go. All at advantage. Yep. Uh huh. Ooh, now 20 right out the gate. Nice. For 18 damage. Uh, let's see here, George the second, 24 to hit for, yeah. 24, will, 24 will miss. Oh! You, you, you have advantage though, remember that. That was with advantage. Uh, 24 was with advantage? Mm-hmm. Okay. You rolled 2d10s, 2d20, George, sorry. George the third, a 22, oh. and George the fourth. Come on, George. There we go, a 31 to hit. That'll hit. For a mere 12 damages. Hmm. He is under a quarter. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. We're getting closer. Uh, uh, all right, uh, pass it. All right, Alaxador. Cool, so I'm going to take a swing with my Warhammer at advantage. 21's going to miss. Hey, 26. That'll hit. Wonderful. Uh, I am also going to pump my fire rune in it. As you see, fire chains erupt from the ground and go around him. He has to make a strength saving throw, but he's stunned, so he can't. Yeah. So he is now uh, grappled. Or sorry, he is now restrained. Uh, and at the start of each of his turns, he will take uh, fire damage as well. Um... So, that's a thing. Should have used it when I hit last time, and I didn't. Uh, it's 15 points of damage, and that is my two attacks for this round. Hey. Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot because I'm big. I need another D6. D6, D8. D6. D8. D8. No, it's, D it's a D6 for big. It's the, the, the Divine Strike that's the D8. Oh, D12. Oh. <laughs> D30. Oh, only a one. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> uh, so it's a total of 16 damage. And on the start of his turn, he'll take 2D6. Which the D30 you can get from SD Way Gaming. If you go to <laughs> SDWayGaming.com. Yeah, you go to SD Game, like, yeah. We got SD Way Gaming. That guy's a gem. Yeah, he is. <laughs> the All dice right, Arlen. are amazing. <laughs> Your turn. Arlen is going to go a couple spear attacks with advantage. 29 to hit. That'll hit. 13. Hold on a second. Uh, 19 points of piercing. Thank you, sneak Ow. attack of extra six. Mm-hmm. You have to make a con save? Um, con save. Disadvantage. Okay. I think this is going to fail. 14. Fails. <laughs> yes. The stunlock monk. <laughs> Spear attack again. 24 misses. Floria blows, misses, and final flurry of blows. 28 to hit. That'll hit. Eight points of blood. He is still right. stunned. I don't know where to, where I'm hitting this trask, but it's it's not good. <laughs> it's probably right in the nose. <laughs> yeah, it's like a Bad shark. Trask. Bad. <laughs> At this point, Leotai is going to see that you have an infinite stun loop. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and is going to uh, you take advantage of that and all of a sudden you see this sort of ray like this sort of uh, uh give me one second look at the spell it's not the dreaded Billy Ray Cyrus <laughs> <laughs> She, uh, a thin green uh, ray springs from her finger. I need to get the dice roller out because I'm actually going to roll this. Um, da -da -da. Ten of these. All these sixes plus a ridiculous amount. 
All right, it automatically fails, so it's taking this full damage. 74 points of damage as a disintegration hits it. Oh! Uh, is that, that's a saving throw? Yep. Okay, good. Yeah. As it is not looking the greatest, as Yuri, your turn. Uh, I will drop down a couple of arrows and 26 oh, damage. 26 damage, okay. 26 damage. Uh, the creature's stunned Arlu. It takes 2d6. Yep, 2d6. Roll that. 2 damage. Oh, okay. man. No <laughs> power. Oh, buddy. I know. <laughs> hey, it is an extra 2 damage, all right? That's right. Well, from Arlu, 12 damage from Arlu. Yeah, don't uh, Arlu kill him. He got swallowed. <laughs> Yodelay, Yodela, your turn. It is not looking the greatest. Well, oh wait, God, I always forget the advantage. It's 32 to hit. That'll hit. For only 10 damage. Okay. Uh, 28 to hit. That'll hit. For 9 damage. Oh. Nobody's sadder than me. <laughs> Oh my god! Two nat one! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Alright. Anything else, Mark? How does it say I got a 32 to hit? You, didn't get, you, one no, my you didn't get a nat one. You got a 19. 19. Oh, yeah, yeah, 19. Wow. yeah, yeah. It looked like two nat ones. That was dreadful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. That's 17 damage in the last. One with George. Roll it. Said roll it. Don't look at your dice on your screen. Look at the points down on the right hand. They're terrible. They're absolutely <laughs> terrible. Yeah. They're not as good as your SD way die. Not at all. My computer is bad. That is obvious. <laughs> you need to get you a better computer, man. <laughs> Eleven is the last amount of damages that George does. How do you want to do this? Uh, I want to carve way through his head and out the back trying to get to his brain so George can eat it all. As you guys didn't even need the obsidian tablet, you defeated a Tarrasque as it lies there dead on the ground. Hey, yo, what uh, what kind of things can you make from this Tarrasque? <laughs> <laughs> I should be able to armor an entire village. Honestly. Can we have anti-magic armor? Ooh. Sure, yeah, why will. not? Who cares at this point? <laughs> We're not playing these characters again. <laughs> Do we level uh, again? Yeah. <laughs> sure, <laughs> why not? You know, why not? Level sure. up and, uh, and, and now five we just more need Tarasks a... appear as you're on the planet of the Tarasks. We need a Star uh, Wars was, style victory parade. This this yeah. was the baby, the mom, and the dad show up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, the Monster King has been defeated, or at least this variation of him. Um, the, uh... Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I see that look, Mark. <laughs> Mark's gonna be that look like, what, what do you mean by that? Um, you all hold a celebration. You have returned the goddess Leotai to her people. Uh, and they thank you a lot for that. Um, and they celebrate you, handing you, uh... The keys, the, the, the keys to the city. The keys to the city. Yep. Uh, they all celebrate, and you all have a great old party. What would you guys like to do? As everyone, everyone you've ever known, at least that's been your friend, is here celebrating. That that's not true. Oh, we're missing. I'm you're... gonna open up a recreational. Well, no, you're, you're company, here for now. Oh, okay. Dragging people behind the flag. He hasn't city. been taken yet. Yet. <laughs> well, what do you guys like to do? I Open mean, up a I, school. This, is, this is probably my last day for a very long time. So I am just going to to live it up. I am. Sure. Uh, I'm going to drink all of the mead, eat all of the roasted pig, and. Uh, Nobody else gets to eat because Yuri ate all the roasted pig. 
<laughs> I mean, he's a he, he doesn't have that much hep to him, so uh, it's probably like a side of bacon, and he's okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, he uh, he is at this point completely plastered and just like laying on a barrel right now. Okay, I want to see if I can go find Leotai. Yeah. So she she takes her time out of the time as talking to other people, and she looks at you and says, "Yes, what can I do for you?" I want to know how I can get Yuri out of his deal with the warden. The warden, I don't believe we can get him out of the deal unless you have some powerful magics. Like what? There's things like wish spells and stuff like that, but I do not, I do not possess the complete power for that. Um, we can go back and trap him in the tablet. I mean, and then break the tablet. But uh, I, I, there may be other things. Maybe you can make a deal with him. To well, that's what I was wondering. Can you can you summon him here? Uh, I'm sure he's around here somewhere. I mean, he has uh, this rain rev out here, and uh, eventually you see right behind you, Arlen. He says, uh, yes, what can I do for you, Arlen? Uh, you know, we've done a lot of work here, and Yuri's been my friend since the beginning. And uh, I'm... I'm wondering if maybe you could wait just a little bit longer before you take him. How long? Well, maybe just wait until he's lived out his normal life. Give me a persuasion check. Oh, thank you. Oh no, my persuasion is not good on this character. Yeah, <laughs> like, you're character. not. You're not the charisma one on this one. I was thinking of a different game. <laughs> Uh, no good Nine. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll make your deal. As long as you agree to it, too. So you won't take us till after our natural lives? Correct. I have all the time in the world. I'm a monk that can't age. <laughs> well, you you know, you age every ten years. That's true. So you will eventually die. I shake his hand before he realizes no one there. <laughs> he says, I'll be waiting for you for quite a while, Arlen, but I'm sure we will meet again. Uh, and I go and wake up Yuri. Uh, what? Yuri, hey. I got us out of our deal, man. Uh. Or sort of at the end of our own natural lives. So you and I will live a long life before we have to go work for the warden. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm no, you know, uh, you're so pretty. <laughs> I'll say Janice walks over to you, Yuri, and and is so happy that you're here and oh. that you're still around. Um, Leote looks at you, Arlen, says, "That's pretty good." Uh, I'm not too sure what the warden has planned for you. Um, he's been... He's quite a shady figure, but still, I'm sure it's not anything too terrible. Um, but you did sacrifice your afterlife for it. Well, I didn't have anything to do any after, after I died anyway, because I can't go home. Why so, can't you go home? Because I died and I made a deal that said that I couldn't go to be with the Lady of the Night, so I might as well have a job afterward. Well, the Mother of the Night, so you were cursed by that. Hmm. I'm terribly sorry about that. <sighs> I'm wondering who knows whether or not we can now leave this these islands. I control that. I left the ward the the uh the elders here as a scapegoat in case I were to disappear 
and I made them before I bought my brother. Um, but now that I'm back, I can give us freedom to leave. Because I'm wondering, I've heard there's another place outside of these islands. Uh, I, I'll go over to, I want to see if I can find Yodale and Alaxador. And Yuri, if you want to come too, I know you're... <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. And talk to them. You can ask Gravity about the tentacles and puts me on top of her and walks <laughs> with you. <laughs> yes, I believe that's most of you, or at least your lineages come from there. I will say, Yuri seems to have found himself here somehow. He was originally from the place that you were talking about. Yuri, you're not from here? No, no, no. Uh, maybe Let's see. not. I'm... It seems he doesn't really remember much of anything. Something might have gotten rid of his memory, but I don't really know much about that. Um, but it's it's very easy to get here whenever the barriers close, but it's very hard to get out. I made that on purpose. So I go to Yodale and Alaxador and I say, so it looks like we could leave with our island. Yeah, let's take the escape goat. And just go explore the rest of the world. Maybe find a way to completely renege on our deal. Exactly. There's, and there's... maybe even remove the curse from the mother of the night. Right. So meanwhile Arlen's over there like I already made a deal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I know nothing about the deal, but right. well, I explain. I explain. Uh so I made a deal with the warden that he wouldn't take Yuri until the end of his natural lifespan. And to make so that have- deal, I had to make the deal as well. So when I eventually die, I will also well. go. But well, that's not for hundreds of years, so... That's true. Little. And Yuri's, Yuri's natural lifespan is a little bit, so we have some time to find exactly. out how to break this and maybe free everybody. Exactly. So let's so go explore the rest of the world and see what we find. Go explore the war- another the does adventure. Say, the Warden does say to you, Laxor, so you don't have any sort of afterlife do you i mean you could always come work for me as well after the end of your life if you're interested i still have a quest that i must pursue to free us from that loss of our afterlife that was my mission i appreciate the offer but we'll see where we get when we're closer to the end my offer still stands. It's you too, Yodale, if you're interested. I know you humans only live for hundreds of year, a hundred years, and I don't really know what afterlife would be like for you, but you could work for me, if interested. That doesn't sound very interesting. I'll oh, find that's... something better with these guys. <laughs> All right. Well, I will see uh, Yuri, Arlen. I'll see you real soon. Hmm. Not if I see you first. <laughs> <laughs> and you see the warden disappear, and Leo Tai uh, says, I, I've never really been outside of the islands. I, I've i talked with some of the gods before, but I've, I've never really been well, outside. Come with us. The island, it's free to roam. That is true. Another great um, adventure awaits us all. Yes. Let's just, I, I, I need to spend a little bit more time here, make sure all my people are all right, and then we can go off exploring. Yeah, we're not in any hurry to leave. I also want to talk to my monastery and to see if they want to stay on this island. There's a lot of people who might want to come with us as we travel around. We can, it's an, it's an island. <laughs> we can yeah. as many people as we want on this thing. Let's say, who knows, maybe eventually... But who knows? And the Ote says, maybe eventually we can travel to different planes. I mean, where, where do the possibilities end? I Wherever love our idea. hearts desire. And the size of the portal you can find. <laughs> well, we can always make a portal portal, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Call back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anything else you guys want to do? I think we ride off into the sunset on our island. Mm-hmm. Yep. The Literally. island 
the island drifts off into the sunset and floats there gently, calmly, floating across the landscape. A few years pass by, relatively, and Arlen and Yuri, you awake, finally, no longer alive, after a long period of time. And the warden says, Ah, welcome, you finally arrived. I'm afraid that I have really just kind of abandoned the warden duty. Um, but I do have another job in mind for you. As you see his form go from this armored, shadowy-looking figure to this figure, almost skeletal-like in nature, and sort of has some flesh. You notice the figure is missing an eye, as well as a hand. And he says, let's get down to business. And that's where we're going to end it.